Welcome to Womack's Wonderful World. Well, I've got a good story to tell you today, and it's all about a carrot. <laughs> you see, carrots are in demand at Christmas. You see, snowmen want them for the nose, don't they? And Dad wants to eat them for the Christmas dinner. Even Santa's reindeer wants to gobble him up. The Christmas Carrot by Alan Plentyleaf. Well, shall we begin? <laughs> Our story begins on Christmas Eve, an exciting time for one and all. Unless, of course, you're a carrot. <laughs> there he is, our little pointy vegetable, lying on a chopping board next to an enormous pointy knife. <coughs> Gulp! This time tomorrow, he'll be chopped up and lying in a pool of hot gravy next to some smelly spouts. Or will he? For this Christmas carrot is about to go where no carrot has gone before. On an adventure! Dad was just about to prepare the Christmas carrot when his son Billy ran in and grabbed it. Oi! Somebody stop him! Catch that carrot! Little Billy took the carrot outside. The little vegetable could not believe his eyes. It was snowing big fat flakes from the sky. And there at the bottom of the garden was a snowman. But it did not have a nose. He looked decidedly grumpy. You would be no nose, wouldn't you? Grumpy. Billy placed the Christmas carrot right in the middle of the snowman's face. It looked very happy. And a very happy Billy ran back to the house to have a finger-warming mug of hot chocolate. But the Christmas carrot wasn't happy. He was cold. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a snowman's nose. So he wriggled and wiggled and popped out, landing on the ground below with a... <laughs> ah! My nose is running, screamed the snowman. <laughs> running, get it? Running, not running, running. <laughs> the carrot tried to escape, but the garden gate was locked. So he looked for a gap in the fence, but the snowman was bounding across the garden after him. <sighs> Suddenly the carrot saw something at the bottom of the garden, a tiny house. The carrot ran, the snowman bounced. Catch that carrot! But just in time, the carrot jumped into the little house, safe at last. Thank goodness for that. You can't hide from me, Christmas carrot, grumbled the snowman. The little house was cosy and warm, with nice soft hay on the floor, and he was just getting comfy when two glowing pink eyes appeared in the darkness. It was Billy's rabbit fang. <gasps> oh, you must be my Christmas present, drool fang. His sharp white teeth glinting in the gloom. <laughs> the rabbit was about to gobble him up when suddenly the roof lifted off the hutch. It was the snowman. That's my Christmas carrot, boomed the snowman. No, it's my Christmas carrot, screeched the rabbit. The carrot ran, the snowman bounced, the rabbit hopped. Catch that carrot! <laughs> then the carrot saw something, a drain pipe. Quickly he began to climb. Finally he made it to the roof, safe from the rabbit and the snowman. There he sat for some time until the moon was high in the sky. But suddenly he heard something. Jingle bells. He turned to see a sleigh, reindeer, and a big man with a red bobble hat jumping down the chimney. One of the reindeer, who had a very shiny nose, stepped forward. Yum, a crunchy carrot. I've been flying all night and I'm starving. The carrot stepped backwards but suddenly slipped sliding down the rooftop. He flew off 
and landed in a soft clump of snow at the side of the road. But the others were on their way after him. <coughs> the carrot ran, the snowman bounced, the rabbit hopped, the reindeer flew. Catch that carrot! But then the Christmas carrot spotted something shiny in the snow. A foil tray from someone's mince pie. Quickly, he jumped inside and whizzed down the hill on his little foil sledge. Suddenly, the carrot hit a bump and flew through the air. But he was caught by a red velvet glove. It was Father Christmas! Father Christmas popped the Christmas carrot into his fur-lined pocket. It was very cosy. He turned to the others and said, Don't you know that Christmas is about giving and not getting? Sorry, Santa, said Rudolph. Sorry, Santa, said Fang. And so, save at last, the Christmas carrot flew up and away in Santa's sleigh over hills and towns and off through stars. When he awoke on Christmas Day, everything was dark. Then he heard a voice. It was Father Christmas. Merry Christmas! A lid lifted above him and the carrot saw a face. It was Mrs. Christmas! Oh, a carrot! My favourite sloped Mrs. Christmas. Father Christmas smiled. Like I said, Christmas is about giving and not getting. And I'm giving you to my lovely vegetarian wife. Ho, ho, ho! Ah! Catch that carrot! The end! And that's The Christmas Carrot by Alan Blenderlees. What a story! But I like carrots as well, don't you? Wow, well, I'm going to have to go now. Because Christmas is a very busy time. Yes! And you're having a busy time too, I hope. And think about carrots this Christmas, won't you? So goodbye from Womack's wonderful world of Christmas. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.